I'm fighting to stay awake this morning. I just got ready for the day. I have a couple appointments this afternoon. Ah, bless you. I have to take Grendel, Mr. Sneezy, as you can hear. Mr. Sneezy, I need to take him to the vet at one o'clock and then when I get back from the vet, I have therapy. So a little bit of a busy afternoon. So I'm trying to get everything done this morning. It is absolutely dismal outside it's a dismal day and that is not helping with making me feel just a little bit sleepy let me show you my little book haul i bought some new books mostly for some videos that i'm doing but also because i wanted to expand my around the world challenge and like i want to talk about the book club let me talk briefly about these four so i bought all of these because i was like for the world tour book club i wanted to do a little bit of research because like yes i have options for my shelves and like i've categorized kind of everything i've I have got some plans for the book club, but for March, I was like, you know what? I kind of just want to research a little bit more. And so I started looking into some different countries in Africa because pretty much every month with the book club, I'm just like, we'll just keep switching continents. So we did Mexico in January, February, we did Italy. And now in March so far, it looks like we're going to be reading from Zimbabwe, but regardless, let me show you the pics. So the first one that I put on the poll is Nervous Conditions by Sitsi Dengaremga. This one looks really good. This one looks really good. This is hailed as a modern classic talking a lot about education. It talks a lot about the struggle of women trying to get an education in Zimbabwe and like what she has to go through, but also very much the colonization of education. This one is winning. This is the one that has been on my shelf for a long time. I've had this one on my shelf for years and if it wins, I'll be thrilled because I just, I really need to read it at this point. The first sentence is, I was not sorry when my brother died. I believe it's coming of age. I also know it's part of a trilogy if I'm not mistaken. So that is Nervous Conditions. But then I ended up buying three books, even though I was like, obviously not all of these are gonna get picked, but I just wanna read them at some point anyway. So I picked them all up. I picked up three, <laughs> three books. This second one, I actually thought was going to win the poll because it was winning for such a long time and then nervous conditions just started to win out and that is the beautiful ones are not yet born by Ai Kwe Arma. This novel would be a pick from Ghana. It's beautiful. Like I've been flipping through the pages and oh, let me just flip to one. Let me just flip to one. There is something powerful that has burned him. The naked body is a covering for a soul once almost destroyed, now full of fear for itself and full of a killing anguish at what this fear makes impossible. But the man has never really known the thing that turned his friend into a human being hiding from other human beings. It looks so good. This is a book about corruption, despair, dread, um, the awfulness of society. And yeah, just all I know is it's very, very satirical. I was very excited for this to win just because like I s literally started reading it. But regardless, I'm going to read this probably very soon probably very soon. The other two I put on the poll, we have Kintu by Jennifer Nanzubuka Mukumbi. This is cool. This one just looks so cool. This one is a bit longer. This one is from Uganda and it does span from 1750, I believe, to the present day. And it tells the story of the cursed Kintu bloodline and also tells the story of Uganda. This is a more recent release and it's just, it look first of all, cover, is so cool. It's divided into six sections in a multi-layered narrative. It starts when Kintu sets out for the capital to pledge allegiance to the new leader of the Buganda kingdom. Along the way, he unleashes a curse that will plague his family for generations. So really any of these, I would just would have been over the moon about it. Um, and then the last one, 
This one looks so cool. This one looks very unique, very interesting. And that is Tram 83 by Fiston Mwanza Mujila. This was so cool. This book is so cool. Let me let me talk about this for a second because I, mm, this just looks like everything I want to read. This one is from the Congo and this one is set in an unnamed, I think unspecified, yeah, in an unnamed African city in secession. Prophet seekers of all languages and nationalities mix. This one is very much like a novel of like the thing of things of objects because when you flip through the pages it's just like oh my god the way that sentences work let me just read you the first let me just read you the first northern station was going to the dogs it was essentially an unfinished metal structure gutted by artillery train tracks and locomotives that called to mind the railroad built by stanley cassava fields cut-rate hotels greasy spoons bordellos pentecostal churches bakeries and noise engineered by men of all generations and nationalities combined it was the only place on earth you could hang yourself defecate blaspheme fall into infatuation and thrive grendel without regard to prying eyes it uses the rhythms of jazz to weave a tale of human relationships in a world that has become a global village we follow a writer named lucian and his friend requiem i believe and they dream of taking over like this CD underworld it's called tram 83 because tram 83 is a nightclub in the town so around them gravitate gangsters and young girls soldiers stowaways profit seeking tourists and federal agents of a non-existent state this would be a five-star prediction for me for sure for sure for sure so that is tram 83 that is another one that i bought so it looks like we'll be reading nervous conditions for the world tour book club in March and the link is always in the description free to join and then I did something I bought something because um, I'm gonna be making a video a vlog series on it if you will very similar to what I did with the shatter me series I can't believe it's been almost a year since I've done that video I was like oh yeah I'm gonna start making these like YA series videos it's gonna be fun the shatter me video is like probably the one of the videos I've had the most fun making and I loved how long it was. I just like, I just love making really long videos. And then I never picked up another series. What is wrong with me? Anyway, finally did it. Finally ordered the box set of the selection series by Kiera Cass. Look at this blast from the past. I'm so excited to start this. I'm really so excited to start this. I feel like I get just as excited to read like good, mind blowing, challenging, world, worldly, profound literature as I do to read like the bachelor essentially so if you have not heard of the selection <laughs> it is pretty much the bachelor set in dystopian united states i when i was a teenager i read the selection i read the first one and then i also read the elite and then i stopped because i didn't care anymore the selection series was one of the series that you guys requested i make like a reading vlog on along with some other ones so this is going to be one of the next videos that i film 35 beautiful girls 35 beautiful rivals and only one will claim prince maxon's heart so essentially he's like the prince of the united states i guess and they're all competing for his hand is this the whole thing i i don't know why i thought there were more i know like these two are spin-offs but oh they smell divine okay so we have the selection i just i can't get over the fact that her name is america She's kind of like from District 12, I guess, of if you want. She's not really that well off, and so she's very surprised that she gets picked. Is it, is it just a draw, I think? I think a girl from every city or something, every state gets picked. I forget how it works. We'll find out in that video. Um, but they all start to compete for the prince's hand. I, when I read it, like the prince, of course there's a love triangle. Of course she has someone back home, like Gail. Um, was not a fan of him. He was icky. So it's reality TV meets dystopian fairy tale. Honestly, I like that idea. I think it's silly. I think she should have leaned into the silliness a little bit more because I think it gets really dramatic and like a little bit too epic for what it really is. We'll see. I forget everything. So we have the selection. We have the elite. We have the one the one and then we have the spin-offs which like i think are about america's daughter oh, okay well spoilers anyway um so we have the heir and we have the crown is this it i don't know why i thought there were more so we have like a duology a trilogy into a duology i guess yeah so this is like the bachelorette okay okay i'm understanding now we have the bachelor and the bachelorette 
why would you guys not abolish this tradition? I don't know. Okay, so there's the selection series. That's the other thing that I bought. Really looking forward to this. I don't know how soon I'm going to be able to read all five of these books, but they're not, they're not very long and they're not hard to read at all. Look out for it. Okay. And then uh, yesterday a package came to my door and I was like, what is this? I didn't order anything. And what would you know it? It was a package from Yen Press. Thank you so much. I opened the box and I screamed because there is a book that I now have that is just gonna emotionally devastate me. So I don't know if you guys remember, but a few of you do because I've seen a lot of you read this book and also have your heart torn out. But in the summer, I read Even If This Love Disappears Tonight, which broke me. I was not expecting it to break my heart, but it did. I just like, something, something in me broke that night. I don't know. It turns out Even If This Love Disappears Tonight isn't the only book isn't the only book okay there's more she wrote more so i opened it and i saw even if these tears disappear tonight by masaki ijicho why 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 and then it says why do you need to forget him so if you don't know it even if this love disappears tonight is about we have this girl she's had brain trauma and she only remembers the singular day like once she has lived the day it's gone and like all memories after her accident don't stick in her brain and so she's attending high school just like attempting to have a normal life and this guy asks her out on a dare and she's like okay fine we can date on the one condition that you don't actually fall in love with me like we're both doing this for different reasons and it hurts it hurts so bad of course there's so much more to it than that but that's all i want to say however this looks like it is the sequel is it the sequel <laughs> and it hurts so this one looks like it's set in university years after the first book we have some of the same characters some new characters i don't want to i don't want to do it but i do also want to reread it i honestly really love the writing i think it was very bubbly very fresh just so pure and innocent that is even if these tears disappear tonight, mine won't be disappearing. Okay, my tears will never be disappearing. In fact, they will be re reappearing with that one. And then they also sent me some more new releases. Thank you, Yen Press. We have Whoever Steals This Book. This is about book collectors and someone who starts to steal all of their books. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. Anyway, this one looks cute. I also love this cover. And we also have Unholy Blood, Volume 1 by Lena Lim. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, that is. This is about a vampire who wants to lead a normal life, but now there's human vampire hybrids and she can't lead a normal life anymore. I'm just continually astounded by people who can draw because I, I can't, I can't draw. And then next up we have The Kept Man of the Princess Knight. This one looks cute. This is a light novel. I just love, oh, the ASMR that I get. Okay, anyway. And then the last one, I was so taken aback because I didn't know that this book existed, that this manga existed, and that is called Taking Care of God. And the story is by the same author as um, The Three Body Problem, which I love, and which I need to continue, and which I know is coming out on Netflix soon. I'm a little scared that they're not gonna remain uber faithful, but um, yeah, look at this. This is so cute. In a certain village, a young girl discovers an old man who fell from the sky. Soon, different elders start to fall from the sky in different villages, claiming they created human civilization, and now it's humanity's turn to take care of their progenitors. But accepting God into your home isn't such a simple matter. And that is the end of my little book haul this morning. So I'm excited for Nervous Conditions. I'm excited for the selection. I am scared for more Ichijo, but we will persevere. It is... 1151 yeah. Tram 83 Take a train just to see I've been trying to set up my desk in a little bit of a more pleasing manner um, because I really liked how I had my desk at my last apartment. I can't tell you. I can't even tell you how much I missed the old apartment. I loved it there. Loved it there. I loved it there so much. 
Anyway, I am going to just finish planning the content, writing down my video ideas, getting stuff ready. Starting a new month is just, there's a lot of content stuff to do with booktube, I feel like, so yeah. But also, oh my god, it's race week. It's race week, it's race week. You don't know how excited I am. Like I didn't think I was, I was like, yeah, I like F1. Like I really like Formula One, it's, it's cool. I'm really into it. Like I watched every single race last year. I was getting really into it. This year, full blown obsessed. Like I am so palpably excited about the first race of the year, of the season. I'm so excited. It's on Saturday. I am so looking forward to it. So looking, look. Look what I've done. I started to make little bracelets that I could wear. <gasps> Shit, there's beads everywhere. Beads everywhere. Well, I did I I had made a bracelet, not anymore. It fell apart. No. Okay. That is tragic. That was my last straw. are you doing how are you doing as you can probably see i am back at my family home for a little bit this month the weeks have been very busy filled with grendel and calcifer which is just going so well they're just the love keeps growing between the two of them and it's been so nice to watch and they're both here with me i brought them both with me they're currently upstairs welcome to this week i'm here for i think a little over 10 days i am going to be going on a trip near the end of the month so i wanted to bring both of the cats with me and make sure that they got well not calcifer because calcifer is freaking fine but grendel i wanted to make sure grendel was just comfortable here got into a good relationship with evie as of right now he's pretty scared of evie which is completely normal obviously but i'm sure over the next few days they should start to get along a little bit better evie Evie is really good with cats. She's very gentle. I'm just getting Grendel used to everything and then I'm going to be going back to Toronto to catch a flight to somewhere. <laughs> no spoilers yet. I will be making a whole travel vlog of where I'm going, but this one will be a little bit of a less stressful trip, I guess, than my last um, big journey. At least for me, it was a big journey going to Italy. This one will be somewhere in Canada, so we're keeping it domestic and I'm very excited. So everything is booked in terms of like um, flights, rental car, hotel. I just need to plan kind of my itinerary. I'm just about to sit down and actually start filming another reading vlog. This one is gonna be themed to something very specific. It's gonna be reading around the world. A lot of you guys have been asking for something like that for a while, like a video a reading vlog just dedicated to reading from a certain country or from a certain place or something like that. I have the materials and I'm finally ready to start that reading vlog which is fun and I also brought Middlemarch down with me. This is a honestly okay I really like the cover. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like reading from this copy but anyway I need to start my Middlemarch um, vlog today as well because I haven't even started the book yet so should should be fun. Tomorrow I do have plans I think to go book shopping with my mom hopefully um so that would be fun because I want to make a whole come book shopping with me video probably mostly going to be thrifted books so we're going to be going to book um thrift stores secondhand bookstores that is the word. I am so tired today. <laughs> Number one the clocks sprang forwards which is nice because that means it'll get darker later but i lost a lot of sleep last night i really didn't get any sleep sleeping somewhere like new and on top of that i had to sleep on the couch number one because the cats were being so crazy but i don't know if you can hear this like pumping running water but i think i was saying last time i was here how the basement kept flooding so we installed like a um sub pump well i didn't i had nothing to do with it i'm just describing it to you which pumps out the groundwater if i'm not mistaken but it's right 
below my room it's in the the back room so it's very loud and it comes on intermittently it's kind of like chinese water torture so i just could not sleep in there last night so i am i'm running on nothing i'm running on absolutely nothing so i think i'm gonna go make myself another cup of coffee after i get done filming the intros to these vlogs and yeah we'll see we'll see where it goes from there Welcome to the great outdoors. Oh my god. It is so nice and warm. So sunny. Um, it's a good day. It's a good day. I think I forgot what this felt like. <laughs> I wanted to give you a reading update. It's a little bit in the afternoon now on Wednesday. The past four, four or five days or so, I have been listening to this audiobook called Catfish Rolling. Um, not a ton of attention I think has been given to this book. It doesn't have a ton of reviews on Goodreads, but it caught my attention on Libby because it sounded like a very unique premise. Um, and it is, and it sounded like it dealt with a lot of cool things. Also the cover. Are you seeing this cover? Beautiful. But this follows this fort year old girl i think she's 14 she's just finished high school and she for most of her life has been switching back and forth between living in japan and living in canada the book is about at its core it's about earthquakes in japan but then deeper than that it's about grief and how grief takes you out of time this book deals a lot with time memory and grief and how all these things are intertwined and it does so through the metaphor of earthquakes and how very severe earthquakes can actually knock the earth off of its axis a little bit and change the uh change the length of the day by like you know a very small amount but this book in a very magical realist sense takes that to the extreme so there have been huge earthquakes in japan sora our main character lost her mother in one of these earthquakes but it's not ever clear to her whether her mother is dead it's just like she's gone because what these earthquakes have done is create zones in Japan where time either runs faster or slower than normal and the government has like walled off these zones you're not allowed to go in there there's a bunch of scientists and different groups trying to do research in the zones like what is really going on and Sora and her father who is a scientist and who wants to work um, with these zones and like see what's really going on in places where time runs faster runs slower Obviously this has a ton of effects on a bunch of different things. She somehow has the ability to feel time and like she can kind of sense where that border is when you step over into it. So yeah, it's called catfish rolling because there is a myth that there is a giant catfish under the islands of Japan and sometimes it gets really uncomfortable, sometimes it needs to turn over. And so when the catfish rolls turns over and rolls this is what causes the earthquakes that sounds super cool unfortunately this book is a huge jumbled bag of all of those things like it, essentially what this book feels like is that the author wanted to talk about a bajillion trillion different things associated with time and memory and so we never properly get to explore any of them like there is so much packed into this book this book just feels like one tangent after the other like one chapter will have a whole chapter on trees and how trees experience time and how they connect to one another but it feels like none of these elements are properly wedded to the plot and to Sora's journey to really find her mother that's what she's trying to do in these zones because her mother along with a bunch of other people in Japan have just disappeared her bodies were never found and so these pockets of time have opened up where people have seemingly just disappeared. Nothing is really properly integrated or explored or I think given enough time or emphasis to pull me in. So the plot is just so all over the place, so all over the place. It's really not an enjoyable listen, sadly. This is actually crazy. Like it was snowstorming three days ago and literally the day after the snow melted, flowers were up like crocuses and all of those very early spring flowers i've been like grieving it though i've really been grieving it like every winter here there's less and less snow 
Less and less days of snowfall. Came back in here because I think my neighbors are building a deck. So I'm reading Catfish Rolling. I'm still reading Nervous Conditions for the World Tour Book Club. I'm not going to speak on this one here. I'm actually almost done because I'm doing an around the world reading vlog with different books from different African countries. This is Zimbabwe. Um, so I won't speak too, too much just to say that I'm liking it a lot. Really exciting diamond art update. I finished all of my diamond art kit. Okay, so obviously I had to get a new one. I got a different one this time. This time there are coasters. I just finished my first one this morning. This is how it turned out. I don't know if you can really... Oh yeah, you can see. It's a little, little octopus. Um, something I'm not thrilled about is how shiny it is. Like, I would have liked it not to be so glam. <laughs> Perfect 10 out of 10 activity for doing audiobooks, for listening to audiobooks. Highly, highly recommend. So, I think I might do the starfish next. That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling. Guess who finally got her laptop back, finally got her clips back, her camera back? It's me. Technically, this clip should probably go at the beginning of this vlog because this vlog is all over the place, pretty choppy, comprises a very large chunk of time, but I'm just gonna leave it here because that's how life is. So, hi, I've missed you. If you've got it this far into the vlog, we've circled almost a whole month really with with each other which i did not mean to do at all i've missed you guys so much and i've been gone for a while and i did not mean to be but when i went back home to my hometown to stay with my parents for a little bit as you saw in this vlog i came back to the city to leave on my trip which i'm now back from had a fantastic time and i forgot my laptop there i was like oh when i'm gone i'm just gonna obviously post all of these videos that i have on my laptop and i'm gonna post them and guess who couldn't post them because I forgot my laptop? Me. So now <laughs> you have uh, quite a spam of videos coming your way. This vlog I think is going up on Saturday. Tomorrow for you, I have another vlog coming out. It's you're just gonna get spammed with my face now and I apologize, but that's where I've been. I did take a little bit of time off of filming stuff a couple weeks ago anyway, just because I wasn't feeling great. There's been a bit of unfortunate medical health stuff going on in my life, which I am again trying to get answers for. So I think in the next vlog I'll include all of that stuff and we can go on the so not fun journey together. At least we can go together. It's just been a little bit of feeling down in the dumps, being in absurd amounts of pain, forgetting my laptop, and also a good thing, going to the mountains. I went to Jasper, that's where I went. I went back to Alberta, back to the mountains. This time it was Jasper National Park. Um, Jasper is also a town and loved it. Had such a good time. You're gonna see it tomorrow because my vlog of my trip is coming out tomorrow for you. So glad you've made it to the end of this vlog amidst all the chaos, but the cats are back with me. They had a great vacation. Um, my parents dropped them off the other day. My mom bawled her eyes out saying goodbye to Grendel because Grendel and her really bonded. They like really bonded those two and she didn't cry saying goodbye to me. She cried saying goodbye to my cat. So, you know, understandable. It is now the afternoon. I'm back here. I need to get groceries because there is nothing in my fridge. I need to finish up a couple of books that I have been reading on my trip. First one that I started, I just, when I fly or when I'm traveling or like something a little bit anxiety inducing or in my case, you know what? No, I actually did really well this time. I did so well with my travel anxiety. That's something I just want to talk about because I've been so like proud of myself. I think if you had asked me, I don't know, a couple years ago, I would have been like, cannot get on a plane. I cannot go anywhere. I can't do this. And I'm just so proud of myself because I had such a positive experience this time um, on both flights. So I'm just, I'm just really hyped about that. But the book I listened to, because I like just listening to 
easy listening, usually romance, just something very simplistic but also very like cute, not high stakes, um, just something easy to digest and like hopefully that's gonna make me smile or giggle and kick my feet. So I listened to a lot of Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert, which is the second book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. So look at me go, making progress on series. And I also started a sequel, physical copy of another series, which I talk about in tomorrow's vlog. So don't worry about that. But I'm 48% through Take a Hint, Danny Brown. Do I like it as much as Chloe Brown? I don't know. I really liked Chloe's story. Danny, who is the middle brown sister, I guess. She's the middle sister. She is a PhD candidate in English Lit and she is teaching at this university. She's been having just like nice chats with the security guard for her building, whose name is Zaf. She is very just like emotionally unavailable. She doesn't do relationships, but one day she gets stuck in the elevator during a fire drill. It's just a drill. It's just the alarm going off, there's no fire, but Zaf has a lot of trauma and anxiety surrounding people in danger or in threatening situations. He's like, oh my god, I need to get her out of the elevator right this very second. So he kind of barges into the elevator and like carries her out and people are like filming. Their video goes viral on the internet and people are like, oh my gosh, they're together. They're so cute. He is an ex rugby player and she is a PhD student and people are just eating it up. The thing is that Zaf also runs a charity called Tackle It, where he not only teaches rugby to young kids, but he also teaches them how to manage their emotions, like process them, embrace them, and be like, heck yeah, feel your emotions, tackle them. So cool, such a good idea. If someone doesn't have a program like that out there, start it. I played rugby in high school actually, and it's just fun. It's just fun. I miss it. Would I ever play it again? No, I would never go near that sport again, but I had a good time in uh, in high school playing it. Anyway, the thing is that the video gets his charity a lot of attention. And so he's like, oh dear, like everyone thinks we're together. All these news uh, companies and like podcast people want to interview us, but only if they think that Danny and I are together. So he proposes fake dating. It's a fake dating trope. Um, to Danny and she she embraces it because she's just kind of happy go lucky She wants to be with Zaf But not in the way that Zaf wants to be with her because he wants to be in a very much like committed relationship She's not really there for that, but they're both just using the fake dating to meet their own ends I suppose anyway, I'm 48% through it's cute. It does deal with some heavier topics, which I don't know if I really love that in my romance that is take a hint Danny Brown. It's going well I'm gonna finish it up. The audiobook is fun and I listened to a lot of it on my plane journey, plane ride, plane travel, whatever you wanna call it. I'm also in the middle of making some reading notes or like video notes, more so just like a nice reading journal on notability. I've been using the app for a couple months now and I am someone who like, I can't draw. I absolutely cannot draw. So if there is a program out there where I can like use people's cute illustrations, cute stickers, or like just tools to make a reading journal look good because if I actually drew it, it would look like hot garbage. I'm not kidding you. Um, I am all over that. I'm also excited to tell you that I am an ambassador for Notability this year. Very exciting. Just cool stuff. And I'm so psyched that I get to do cool stuff like this on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for all of the support. But if you want to download Notability, free to download. I do have a link and a code if you guys do want to try out Notability Plus. The code is M-E-N-B and the link is in the description box. Notability is really just a digital notebook. You can do anything and everything. Perfect for students. I wish I had had this because then I could have made my notes so aesthetic. You can obviously rearrange them like you can't do on paper. That is Notability. Thrilled to be working with them this year. You're gonna see them a lot on my channel this year, so very excited to see what else I'm gonna make with them. For the rest of the day, what am I gonna do? I need to edit this video that you're watching right now. Get it up because, oh my God, there's just so much random footage in here at this point. I think I am gonna sign off here just so I can make sure to get this video out. Finish up my Jasper vlog as well, which I really love. I'm really looking forward to that one. Really looking forward to you guys seeing it because I had such a fantastic trip. I went to chase the snow and the mountains and they found me. 
to say the least. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful evening or day or morning or wherever you are. Just have a wonderful time in your time zone. So until my next one.